look at this. Move, man, move. Bloody cyclists. I'm not a cyclist, by the way. I'm a night rider. Sorry if that offends the cyclists, but you know, I don't do the tight pants. I don't even do helmets. I'm a rebel. Hello and welcome. Welcome to another Vandal Vlog cycling video. I'm off to pick up another washing machine. It's the day after what you just saw, whatever you just saw. And uh, I've already picked up one this morning. It's now uh, this afternoon, is it? Yeah. And uh, I'm going to pick up another one. Oh, yes. And I've already got one in there. What else have I got in here? In a quarter of a mile, oh, turn right. right onto Moore Hill Road, A27. Yeah, all right, get that. Calm down. Yeesh. Is it jeesh or sheesh? I like jeesh. It's like jeesh. No, no disrespect to my bro. But anyway. Take the next right onto Moore Hill Road, A27. Okay, okay. Hitler's daughter. Puddle. Oh, now I've lost my train of thought. She put me right off. <laughs> oh. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm going to get a washing machine. Oh yeah, it's Sunday. Continue on Moore Hill Road for three quarters of a mile. <laughs> It's Sunday, and uh, I'm going to try and get this van filled up for tomorrow. Down with a big load. Still got these washing machines to strip out. I've got so many flipping motors in that now, it's stupid. I've got rid of all my scrap metal in my house, and now it's just getting filled up. Bloody motors. Guys, is it worth taking the, the uh, aluminium ones out or not? Is it worth it, guys? Just tell me. Is it worth the time to get them out? I've got to walk them like 200 yards to my flat take them apart and I've got to walk the scrap out 200 miles, 200 feet to the van. Is it worth it for the aluminium ones? I'll be honest with you, I've left a few in them. I've left a couple in some of the washing machines. Gave them a scratch. So, uh, well, I've got the rest of the bits out. I've got a little in a quarter of a mile at Canes Hill roundabout, take the third exit onto Canes Hill, A27. Yes, sure will. What? No, love. No. That's not the correct way. Right, ignore her. I don't know what she's trying to do, but nah. That ain't working. I know your game, Sanav. You're trying to take me the long way so that I use fuel. That's not happening. These Sanavs are not your friends, I'm telling you. They are the enemy. In a quarter of a mile, at the roundabout, take the fourth exit onto the M27 slip road to Portsmouth, Fareham. sat are a bit like the Bible. You know, don't take it every word for word. Just use it, use it as some guidance. That's all I've got to say. Onward. Well, I'm here at the pickup. Enjoy your view of the Mini. <coughs> Grab this, see what the crack is. Another one done. Oh, hold up, I've got a message. Let's have a look. Yep, got another pickup. Right, next stop. Fringsy on the road. Oh yeah, some stuff there, we're having that. Uh, what number am I looking for? Alright, hold up.
keyboards are knackered. I don't want to start cutting all the cords off though, just in case someone might make use of it. It's not worth it to me for the 50p, you know. I've got to make room for bloody dishwasher now. See peeping Tom and He's got the looking at that house through the window. Your destination is on the right. Dirty bastard. Looking out, so I don't know. Oh, here it is. Oh, I've got to turn around. Oh, I see the dishwasher. Ooh, we've got some goods going on down here. We've got, we've got a bit of building going on down here. Oh, that's me. You've got any scrap. You got any scrap, mate? But it's there. Right, let's go out this bad boy. Try and get my trolley out the back. Oh, have we got some work to do here. Boy, have we got some work to do here. This is all the cord that I got earlier. Nice big thick strippable stuff. There's loads of it. You wait and see the copper that's beyond there. Can't even cut that. <laughs> There's loads of it. I've got loads of copper. I can't believe this score. Oh, what a score. So I'm just going to go through, cut all these ends off. Just go at it like a mofo. Ten minutes. So yeah, that's a little pair in it. Sorry, guys. That's per usual. Well, I'll go through this. I'll come back in a minute. I'll show you the copper that I've got. There's loads of it. Look at all this in here. I've got all these appliances to strip out yet. I'm going to be here for hours. Some of that separated out. That's a hefty bag there. There's all my copper, look. Look at that beautiful stuff. That was a score. That was a score, we've got more wire up in here. So that lovely bit of stripping stuff there, that's getting stripped. Uh, what else we got? Uh, cords, a bit of metal. That's got a uh, wire for it and all. Getting all that out is going to be a bitch. Oh, 
loads of stuff to get through there. Well, we get through these cords a bit more. Shut up, Van. And uh, that needs to go in. Oh, shout out to uh, Kavasa. Reminded me I got one of these impact drivers <laughs> instead of using my crappy drill. <laughs> Cheers, buddy. <laughs> totally forgot I had it. Right, that needs to go to the shed. Just sort out any plugs and the cords that are in here. Getting a nice little bit of that together. Um, put them in here for now. So I might have uh... Oh yeah, it's big eye beams that I picked up. They might have some goodies in them. Um, brass and other detritus. of which there is a lot that's all coming indoors sorry Van sorry about that I'll get through this guys, I'll show you what I've got at the end. Yes mate. This one there, I've got one of the transformers out, the rest of it buried, I'm gonna have to do it before I get to the yard tomorrow. I'll just have to pull up outside and uh I'll get there early, it opens at half eight, I'll get there for like half seven, spend an hour on this. Right, I'm gonna have a quick mooch down here in the area. Because uh, tonight, I'm getting Betty out. I'm going to clear some stuff out of her boot. I'm taking Betty out for a spin tonight. There's no point taking a van. I can't get anything big in here. So I'll take Betty. I can get in all the little nooks and crannies then. I don't know if it's worth chucking the bike in the back of Betty tonight. I ain't been out on the bike in ages. I miss that bike so much. It's ages since I've been out on the bike. It's way over 10 days. So that's not good. But uh, you know, it's been wet and it's been frosty and you know, it hasn't been great. It doesn't make it much fun going out in the rain on the bike. So we're gonna have a little blast around here. Let's have a little look, see if we can find any little bits and pieces. Come on, love. I'm in a good mood. I'll say love. It's probably a dude. It looks like a lady's car, though. Not that I'm judging. Or, or um, what's the other word? Oh, it was a dude. It was an old dude. Good for you, bro. Good for you. I used to drive red cars, but I don't drive red cars anymore. Every red car I ever had, I wrote it off within a month. Well, in a week. It wasn't my fault. Something big and white down here. What's that? Vast as dust. Oh, it's a bit of blinking styrofoam. Can you scrap styrofoam? Because I can get loads of that stuff. Why do they make this stuff you can't recycle? Well, it's very difficult. I notice all the emphasis is on us, not the actual big companies. Oh no, they provide employment. We'll just let all the little people clean up our crap. Box there of some sort. I don't know what it is though. Shall I have a little mooch? 
Should we have our little butchers? Or is it worth it even? I don't think it's worth it, but I'm going to have a little look. Cut the shady dudes there. Cut the shady dudes. Heat extractor or something, so it'll get into it. Chosen. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. So when you've got a camera on your face, people just stop and stare at you. A lot of people just put their head down and walk past, but lately a lot of people have just been stood there just staring at me. Right. Let's have to sort some stuff out in the back. Let's go and get weighed and paid. Get this half a ton in there. What a mess. What a mess. Shift GoPro. Keep getting to turn the bloody thing off, don't I? Right. Mostly light iron here, I've got a couple of bits of uh, heavy I-beam. Where do you want them put? I've got, uh, it's mostly light iron, I've got a couple of I-beams. Yeah. Do you want me to leave it by the discs? Nah. I'll try and put it in the right places, Tom. That's right, Yeah. Alright, buddy. Alright. Tidy up here, driving over that crap. I must have been busy this morning. That's that, I know, it's got to be half a ton in there. Get this dropped off in. Yeah. Well, that's that, that's that, little, that's that little job done. Just pass the skip with some metal on it. I'm just going to go back and uh, knock on the door, see if they got any scrap for me. I've got 40 quid in my pocket for, for this morning and I got 55 for my scrap. So that's not too bad. I'm on 95 bucks today. It's like 20 pounds an hour. I could get used to this. Well, right, scrap yard's over till Thursday. It's time to get a couple more ton. I want a couple more ton in that scrap yard by the end of Thursday. Right, come on, lady, get out of my way. Bloody learners. Why can't they learn how to drive? Some stuff down here. Huh? Let's have a little butchers. Crap. I'm not going to knock on the door. I'm not afraid to knock on doors. 
that on there in the face sort of doors. toolbox and a uh, foldy up steppy on painting chair thing ladder well, let's go back to this skip we had a uh, gas fire on there oh you're never going to believe what I saw at the scrapyard a whole flipping boiler copper hanging out of it and everything unscrapped just chucked just thrown on the pile can you believe that what kind of monumental moron does that Flipping brass and the copper are down there. Eh? Brass, brass, brass. The brass or brass? Brass, big boy. It's brass. Oh, it has been, always will be. Alright, let's have a little butcher's down here. I'll knock on the door. And uh, say, yo. See, you got some stuff in your skip there. Would you like me to get rid of it and make some room? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? It's down here. All right, so there's a fireplace on top of that skip. I'll be back tonight for that. What up? So I've just popped out, I had to go and see a, uh, had to see a man about a dog. I spotted a couple of places on the way down here. One's a nice little area that looked quite uh, quite appetizing for the fox. And I'm pretty sure, pretty sure I passed three appliances all bundled together. One of them was definitely a cooker or oven, whatever the difference is. But it looks, it looks very ghetto. Very, very ghetto in here. Right, I'm gonna get out, get my stab proof vest on. <laughs> just joking, just joking. Just gonna go in here. Fridge there. Looks like there's a cord on it, eh? Oh, they cut the cord on it. No fly tip in it, is there? <laughs> yeah, whatever. Oh, they cut the corner out already. The bastards. Oh, well, that looked kind of appetising. Stuff of saws up here, I just saw a scrap lot chuck. He had it. Oh, see it, see it, see it, see it. Oh, he's got it. He's got it. He's got it. Can't believe it, got <laughs> Oh, there they go. No, it's not, it's not him. That's tree surgeon. Oh, now I'm stuck here in traffic. Damn it, why didn't I stop on the bloody way? Too busy bloody daydreaming, man. Oh, scrappers. We're even, mate. We're even now. I'll let you have that one, guys. Pretty sure it was the same truck and all. <laughs> Well, we're square, man. We're square. Next one's mine. Well, there's some skips down here, a couple of building sites. I'm just going to go down there and just uh, knock on the door. Just to say, hey, you got any skull up there? You got any skull up, mate? I am starving. I'm so hungry, I might have to go to Chippy. Park here and walk down.
gonna have a little goosey gander up here, see if anything changed. Sierra there, it's been there a long time man. It's just a shame to see that just sat the side of the road like that. Is that an XR4? Boy Joe it is. It's over here, anything changed since I've been here? Oh hello ladies, look at that, she's real right. Don't know actually. She could do a bit more meat on them bones. I like my women meaty. Out there at the moment. So oh, there, we've got something over here. So a little gander. Bloody beeps. Uh, that's a bloody TV stand, plastic one. That's all right, I'll go home. I'm gonna get some food, go home. I'll get on Facebook and that, and uh, my other little, other little uh, places that you guys don't know about. <laughs> Keep some of your cards close to your chest, do you get me? See you guys in a bit. You guys didn't see that, I just picked up two small tumble dryers. Some little mooch around this area. We're in Scrapper Town. That was a pickup, that's a Facebook pickup. Sent me a message last night. I'm getting loads of messages. I'm getting lots of assholes though as well, just going, uh, is it still available? Is it still available? Not just for the fun of it. They regretted it. Because I just kept texting them back. Yes, it's available. Yes, it's available. Yes, it's available. About a hundred times. <laughs> yeah, I can play those games. Get funny looks. Scrappers. I don't care, I'll just eyeball them. If they want to get eyeball I'll get eyeball y. Mog will stare down a tree. Oh, I saw some bits of scrap on the way in. There's a bit of scrap over there, isn't it? Uh, where am I? Oh, yeah. Uh, I also got a call about a microwave. Uh, it, it, seemed, it seemed like a. Um, it seemed like someone was trying to be funny, to be honest with you. I'm sure I'm allowed to do that, but we all do it. Oh my days, oh my days, look at that. Look what is in front of us right now. That's going in the back, that's another little dryer. Oh yes, oh yes. Someone there, no? Do you want that take away? Yeah. yeah. Results. Boom. Just past the dishwasher on a, on a doorstep. Just wonder if it's worth going back to knock. I think it would be. How the hell is a dishwasher on a doorstep around here? I do not know. I'm going to go back and ask. I know I've just got a dishwasher and strangely enough it's giving me two aluminium intercoolers from a Volkswagen from a PD130. <laughs> oh 
of crazy. And they give me a bunch of, uh, what was it, rolled or extruded aluminium. Well, that's good. That's a score, man, down here. Flipping heck. I'm coming down scrapper territory more often. Well, I need to get these sorted out. I need to get all these flipping motors out and uh, get to the scrapyard. All right, that took a minute to sort that out. Flipping heck. Uh, those little tumble drivers, all three of them had copper motors in them. <laughs> yeah, the big ones, they're all aluminium. I left one of them in there, I couldn't get it out, I didn't have the right tool. So I'm not going to be bothered with the aluminium ones, to be honest. What do you guys think? Do you bother? I mean, I like the bit of cast off them. I do like that, but is it worth it now? Is it worth the aggro? Let's just do that to the way in. Going in there. It's not going in there. Sorry, dudes. Sorry, dudes. Sorry, man. Me and noise in the, annoying the scrapyard again. He's waiting to come in. I didn't even know that. Oh, I'll get back in a minute. That was embarrassing. <laughs> All right, that's that drop off first. Let's get weighed out and paid out. Weighed and paid. I'm gonna say 350. Here we are then, side of the road, day before Christmas Eve, and Miss Piggy's broken down. The damn bloody gear shift. I can't get it out of gear. It's stuck in third, so I can't drive anywhere. And I can't get the bonnet open. And I broke the bonnet catch. So yeah, good times. Good times. I've got three washing machines in the back and I've just picked up a radiator. Great. Great. The Renault Tragic lives up to its name. Ah. Uh.